Um, well, I just want to ask you about the uh, third and 14 pass that Mike threw to you at the, during the Ohio State game. I know when you're running a route, you probably can't see exactly what's going on in the pocket, but he had to kind of like climb the pocket. Um, and then it, they're lining straight in his face and he's, you know, throwing it to you for a first down. I mean, when you watch that in film review um, during the week, I mean, what's your reaction when you see him make a play like that? Um, that he'll do anything to try to get me the ball. And I love that about him. He's doing anything to get the ball out. He's doing anything to make um, for us to make a play. So he's he's making plays for us back there while we're making plays for him out in the open field and down the field. So we got to do everything, every, everything we can to make a play, just how he's doing everything he can just to get the ball out. All right, Zach and then Matt Weaver. I guess just more broadly on the topic of explosive plays, you guys obviously were just kind of hitting those a lot, especially in the second half and even in – First down situations, you know, long distance situations. Not that I expect you guys to just sort of bomb it deep every play, obviously, but is that something that over these last three games and then, of course, the, the extra ninth game that you guys are going to play, you feel like can really open up in this offense? Just the ability kind of whenever you you want to to stretch a defense vertically like that? I mean, that's our mindset. Our mindset is mediocre, uh, medium passes to a uh, long ball, so – we work on long balls a lot, so that's gonna that's it's gonna be big for us this this year, years to come. That's gonna be a big thing for us because you know we got a gunslinger back there, so he can throw it anywhere. He can throw, you know, he just he's just a gunslinger. He can put it anywhere, um, perfect down the field, medium routes. He can put anything on the money. So that's our our main focus: down the field or medium um, passes. All right, Matt and Kevin. Hey, Wop, well, you um you obviously came in with Ty. You guys are in the same class. Just talk about, obviously, he's had a couple really big weeks playing well the last three weeks. Just talk about how you've seen him grow over the four years you guys have been together and just, you know, kind of progress as a player in, in, on and off the field. I mean, we all knew Ty could do this. We all knew he could do this when we first came in. We, we used to call him – they used to call him on the visit, jump ball. Then I looked up his highlights. I just seen him bombing people, Mossing, coming over people's heads. We been knew he just – he could do this. He just had to gain the confidence in himself to do it. So, and look at him now. He's doing it right now. He's – getting more confident as the week goes. And he just, his swag is out of this world. You see it on the field and off, like, he's just doing everything. He's he's a great player, man. I love that guy. So I knew he could do that. I just, I just, I was just waiting for him to, uh, you know, flash out and start, you know, doing everybody dirty like he's been doing. All right, Kevin and Paul. Yeah, uh, well, this offense has been fairly explosive when it gets going, but starts a little slow. Uh, what are your thoughts or theories on that, and how can you guys maybe kind of address that uh, these last couple of weeks of the season? I mean, it's one thing we just got to do. We just got to come out and execute. We just got to know. Some, sometimes you just got to know you're the better team, come out so you can execute, be one to know. We just had to come out and execute. We Like as we like we did the um, second half, we should have came out the first half just as, just as good. But, you know, little it's the little thing. We got to focus on the little things. We can't be too complacent and stuff. So. We 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 got that out of us. We had to get that out of our system, so it's out of our system now. All right, Paul and the Stefan. All right, go ahead, Stefan, and then Griffin. Hey, Walt. Walt. I hear you. I can't hey, see. Hey, Walt. You, last night, Coach Allen. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Last night, Coach Allen said that uh, you, you had told him when you guys were coming off the field that you, you didn't want any coaches in there. You wanted to talk to the team first. Kind of walk me through that, your message to the team, and uh, then obviously you guys uh, it, adhered to that message in the second half, but how important was it for you to have that moment? Um, I just felt like we needed some juice. I just felt like we needed some juice on the sideline. We were kind of, you know, um, down, not really into it. Uh, not really into it. We were into the game, but we weren't really into it how we usually are. So I just told Coach I, I said, Coach I, I got to talk to the team. And I just – let everybody know, like this, this not IU that this not IU that we've been that we had in the first four weeks, the first the few weeks before that. So I was letting know, hey, we got to come out a brand new team. We got to show the world that what we just did in the first half was literally, you know, what it is. But we just moved on, and you know, we did what we had to do. But obviously, when we it didn't um, end how we wanted to, so we got to keep working. All right, Stefan, and then Griffin. Having the experience that you have, you know, playing playing at IU, I mean, how how important has it been for you this year to do things like that? You know, step up as a leader on and off the field. I mean, doing things like that, that stuff like that, just come with being able, like, just being around and being like a, a um a 
team guy, like being around everybody. So when you're around everybody, you just cool with everybody, friends with everybody, like real brotherly with everyone. I feel like you get you have a position to say stuff like that and just come to the team as keep it real with everybody. Like this ain't us. This not this not what we supposed to be doing. This not us. So I feel like I have the um, the respect and the just the 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 brotherly love in there to for me to say things say the things that I said. All right, Griffin. Last one for what? Hey, Wop. You were talking about Mike. Uh, what is Mike's? He's just so confident. What does his confidence do to the team, and just that he's never scared? Man, the confidence that Mike gives us—he just give us swagger. Like, if we got him leading us, we can't we can't be wrong. That's what I tell him. I tell him every day on the side. I'll tell him on the sideline. I tell him in practice, bro. Everything you do, you leading us, so we gonna follow your step. You you the leader of the team. You the you the big dog. So we gonna follow everything you do. He said, "All right." So. He already he already know the um position he in right now. He already know what he got um the status he has on the team and stuff. So it just speaks for itself. He he already know what he got to do. All right, thanks, Wap.